small business owners like Michael and Neil are facing unimaginable challenges from forced pandemic shutdowns to the mask and vaccine mandates. And as we just yep. discussed, the extreme weather. So the National Federation of Independent Business said in its monthly jobs report that half of small business owners reported unfilled job openings. So we have an expert in everything small business, and that is Gene Marks. Gene, good to see you. Great to see you, Lauren. Thanks for having me on. Just first off, I mean, those were poignant stories from Chef Michael and Chef Neil. Yeah. What would you say to them? I, it's funny that you bring that up because I, I was really going to jump into that same topic as well. I mean, those guys, hey, first of all, at least they have some certainty. They get a hurricane every year. So maybe they can prepare <laughs> for that. That's what I thought. You know? It's cruel but true. Uncertain. Yeah, like it's a, it's a horrible thing. But you know what they didn't even mention as well? On top of the hurricane that they're dealing with right now and the labor disruption for finding good people, right? They didn't mention the fact that their prices have been skyrocketing in their restaurant because of supply chain shortages and inflation. That's been a huge headache for not only restaurant owners, but business owners around the country. And on top of that, you mentioned vaccine and the mass mandates and, and all of that. Uh, you know, it, small business owners are being forced to be like traffic cop in all of this, you know? So you've got guys like this running restaurants, they're putting their employees on the front line. Can you imagine? And they, are, they, they have to turn customers away if they're not wearing masks. And some restaurants are taking a position, you know, they're trying to do a good thing and we're not going to serve people unless you're vaccinated. And then their employees have to get in the middle of that. It is, these are like issues, Lauren, like I've been like dealing with small businesses, running a business for 25 years. These are like all new. I thought I've seen it all before. And these are all new, huge challenges for small businesses this year. It's pretty unprecedented. I heard it in Michael's voice. I, I felt like he was really at the end of his rope. Like, what I, what like, else do you want me to deal with? But we do have something else. And that, the, and that is Jeannie's tax increases that are yeah. on the horizon. What, which taxes are going up that you know of? And, and what should small businesses prepare for? Well, you know, when Congress gets back, when the Senate gets back, there's going to be a lot of talk about the American Family you know, Plan, um, and, and that's going to be coming up for a vote. And there's a good chance that it's going to go through. It's really a, it's going to be a very narrow kind of vote. Uh, that includes a lot of tax increases that are going to impact those two guys, like Michael and they own a lot of small businesses around the country. I know that the narrative is it's going to affect the wealthy, those making over $400,000 a year. But Lauren, I'm telling you, that's household income. That's not an unusual number for people that are running fairly successful small businesses. These people are not going around in private planes and yachts yeah. here. And their, their personal rates are going to go up significantly to 39%. Their corporate rates are going to go up. Their capital gains rates are going to go up as well. So on top of all the other stuff we've talked about, they've got pending tax increases that are going to become a big part of their lives over the next couple of years. And that's just going to be another worry they're going to have to be concerned about. And they don't have the investors or the deep pockets where they can say, you know what, we need more workers, so we're going to pay you this much more. And we're going to pay for college because they're small businesses, they're family businesses, yep. and they're the backbone of the economy. Gene Marks, good to see you. Have a great weekend. Great seeing you, Lauren. We'll you right too. Back. Take care.